Community members want to see change at Prospect and Gregory. Someone killed a 31 year old food truck operator early Monday when a huge street party turned deadly. The father of three was killed when a wild shootout broke out in the crowded street. Kansas City police now say they plan to attend this weekend's gathering. They want to see things for themselves tonight only on Fox 4. Sean McDowell live at Metro Patrol where police and neighbors began planning for this Sunday's fact finding mission just down the road from that violence, Sean. And John, no permit was issued by the city for that gathering this past weekend. People living in that neighborhood near Prospect and Gregory told us today that sometimes they see party goers walking around with guns out in their hands, just like they're no big deal. People living near there, some of them complain about those parties. Others say that they're OK and that they hope they continue. Police say they're going to go see it for themselves this weekend. We can't have anything on Prospect, you know, and everybody's upset. Summertime parties happen most every Sunday in the neighborhood near Prospect and Gregory. This weekend celebration spilled into Monday morning. That's when 31 year old Diamond Shields, who was operating a food truck near the party, was killed when a gunfight broke out in a big crowd that included as many as a thousand people. Nobody had any problems until there was a problem. The weekend parties were uneventful until Monday morning's tragedy, according to Sunshine Smith, who was there when police say they believe 90 gunshots rang out. Smith and others told Kansas City police officers at a Wednesday afternoon meeting they're upset over losing shields, but the community takes pride in these weekend get togethers since they're meant to be peaceful entertainment that doesn't cost money. I don't think that we should have to not gather peacefully, you know, and if you want to make trouble or be trouble, stay away from us. KCPD officers will see it all for themselves this Sunday. One witness at Wednesday's meeting told police the dispute started when two groups of people in cars drew their guns during an argument. Tri Blenheim neighborhood president Charles Kennedy says the weekend parties aren't popular with everybody and guns have no place at these events. We have some of the lax gun laws in the country, you know, until Jeff City decides they want to do something about it. This is going to continue. It's not going to stop here at Prospect. Wednesday's community meeting with police includes input from MOXA, the anti-violence group that promotes peace in Kansas City neighborhoods. MOXA's Brandy Alexander says community unity can lead to peace. I am pleased that the police want to roll, but I also am pleased to see the community coming out. I think it's important for the community to take the initiative and then for the, our police departments to, to just show up and support like they've been doing. Five other people, at least five others, I should clarify, were also injured in that incident early Monday morning. City Council members did not attend today's meeting. However, 5th District Council members heard from the public and constituents in that area during a meeting on Monday night. And Bria, Kansas City Police uh, spokesperson with that, that organization, talked with me off camera today. Officers want the public to know this is a sincere effort to get involved. They want to make things safer in that neighborhood. All right, Sean McDowell live for us tonight. Sean, thank you. And 